everybody, here is Karin. Welcome to my channel. This week I will show you a major project I did some time ago. And we are so happy we did it finally. At least once a week I post on this channel a new video with a creative project, a good DIY or a room makeover. So if you like that, subscribe to this channel, uh, put on the notification bell and let me know what you think about this video. I'm really excited to show you this project. It was something I was a bit scared of and um, didn't really know how to handle. Some time ago um, I was thrifting with my husband in a town that's called Nijmegen here in the Netherlands and we found there a mid-century modern um, sideboard credenza cupboard which was really amazing. We are looking for something like this since a month, but if I find something secondhand, it's really expensive. Um, at least you pay 1,000 to 2,000 euros for it, and I don't want this, uh, to spend that much money on a cupboard that is secondhand. So we found one for 120 euro, and we thought, okay, it's beautiful, the structure is great, it's nice, uh, it's quite beaten up and damaged, but I can do something about it. Let's buy it. I filmed the moment where I saw this uh, credenza, so let's have a look how that was. I felt in love with it and uh, we bought it. But uh, the problem is I'm not a professional uh, furniture restorator or anything like that. I never did something like that before. So I had to uh, inform myself, uh, read every blog, watch every YouTube uh, um, video that was about restorating a mid-century modern uh, cupboard uh, that is not made from wood, but MDF with a very thin piece of uh, veneer on top. So you cannot sand it really well. So because it had many damages and scratches on top, um, we had to get creative. And our goal was, and especially for my husband, is that we uh, put it back as good as possible in the original state. So it was not an option for us to paint it. So this is my process of restorating this credenza, uh, this mid-century modern uh, piece of furniture. And I'm really curious if you have better solutions to restore the top layer of this um, cupboard. I know I could buy new veneer and put that on, but that is a process I really never did and it's um, a bit scary. So um, if you have another idea or solution, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for chatting. Let's start the video. Everything is cleared out and this is the credenza in its pure beauty uh, with all the damages. But I really love the design of it, the feet are beautiful, the sliding doors are really handy and the drawers are great too. So it's uh, a real furniture from the 60s or 50s. and. Um, but we have some problems, of course, with all these scratches, paint on the surface, and this hole here in the back. Um, that is really a challenge to uh, make this nice and beautiful again. Also, the drawers are uh, not working. They uh, are totally damaged, especially one uh, falls apart, so I have to glue them together again and um, oh, you see there it doesn't work anymore. The inside is fine just needs a bit of cleaning and um, it's really huge it's two meter long so it can fit a whole lot of stuff in here and I want to use it for my uh, 
craft supplies and work supplies. So you see this drawer falls completely apart. <laughs> the second part is uh, over here. Uh, we have to glue it together later on. And the inside of the drawers are very dirty and stinky, so they have to be replaced too. So this is a part of the supplies. First I have to degrease it with this one and clean it very well. And then I have some and uh, I have some steel wool and a uh, different cloth to clean it. Um, a little bit of sanding paper, which is very th uh, fine. And um, some wood fillers to clean out the scratches and the hole. After 20 minutes of cleaning, I have already a great result. All the paint stains uh, disappeared and it looks already much better. As you see, I work in my living room because I have no workshop and it is a big mess everywhere around me. <laughs> but uh, I'm a bit a chaotic uh, person, but it works. So this hole I fill with a wood filler and I hope it will not be visible later on. So next step is I took out the doors, the sliding doors. And what I saw is they have a different color than the upper part of the uh, cabinet. You see, it's much more yellow, the doors, than the top of the credenza. So that's an interesting design detail. I will also remove the handles and uh, paint them newly. Very carefully, I will sand the doors and stain newly. Now everything is cleaned out, it doesn't stink anymore and I'm very happy about this. It looks much better, it smells much better and uh, I scented the door slightly because they were in a better condition. Um, I cleaned out the doors and as you see there is an ugly green dirty um, kind of fabric in it which is glued on it. I cannot remove it so I have to buy some thin boards to uh, glue in it and this uh, drawer I have to glue together. For that I have to go to the hardware store and buy disc thin boards. I measured the inside of the drawers and cut the boards to the good size and I glue them down with wood glue. I use a bit a lot of wood glue I see but anyhow it uh, works very well and uh, they will never be been taken off again. <laughs> So next step is to uh, remove the legs and um, sand and paint them too and also do the front of the cabinet. So first I had to sand down the legs and then I could stain it. I used therefore a warm color uh, wood stain. It's a bit of gel wood, wood stain, very easy to uh, put on. And it was good that the uh, wood got a bit of uh, nourishment. Um, I also did the drawers, the, of the, sorry, the sliding doors and uh, the handles of the doors. This is the stain I used. And I use the same stain for the fro for the whole cabinet. So uh, it, it was originally a bit yellowish, uh, the cabinet, which I really don't like. So this uh, color is more reddish and uh, I think it's more suitable for this kind of furniture. For this little dark uh, piece of wood, I used a darker stain, almost black, um, and this looks also much better at the beginning. Oh, and I made an accident, but happily I put some coverage on the floor. I still have to do the drawers, and the glue is still drying there, so the fronts I have to stain tomorrow, and over here. 
is the drawer that I had to glue together. I used a hook uh, clamp, but at the end I had to uh, fix the whole drawer, so I put some bandage around um, to hold it together. That has to dry till tomorrow, and then we can uh, stain this drawer too. Here my workstation on the balcony where I stained the legs and the sliding doors and the handles. Everything is drying now and uh, I can put it together in a few hours. Here is the stain I used. So it's um, warm orange is for the handles and the little dark piece on the front and uh, for the rest of the cabinet I used this cherry um, dark cherry stain which uh, I think is really lovely it's a bit reddish and I like it more on a mid-century modern cabinet and now it's time to stain the top and the sides of the credenza and I'm really wondering how it looks like with all the scratches and if it works out. It will not be perfect but I'm sure it's better than before. And this is the end result. Oh, it's really 100% better than before. It looks so chic and I'm very proud of this project. The drawers are glued together and the inside is clean and neat. I'm really happy with this solution and we can use it now without problem. The top part is not 100% um, restored. You see there are still a few scratches visible, but it's so much better than it was before and it looks we know when you put some stuff on it, it you will not see all these little scratches at the end. So I'm really happy and proud of it. It was a big job to restore this uh, cupboard credenza from the 50s, but I'm so proud that I did it. I was really <laughs> completely tired after two days <laughs> working on this. Um, but now comes the good part, because now I'm going to style the credenza. Have a look. So after two days of hard work, it's so rewarding to see how everything comes together. I love how I styled it and how this corner looks like now. All these candle holders from Instagram accounts that sell thrifted items. I collected them last year and the wooden board under it I bought on a flea market last year. Uh, the vase is from the thrift store and the mirror in the back also. I bought it for six euro and I really love it. The arch is really cute and um, this head is a little DIY project from last year. The marmor plate and uh, also this painting I made myself some years ago. And I really like also that uh, art photo in the back. And for the rest, I'm sorry, it's still a little bit messy. It's just real life and not a perfect home. This beautiful rug I got from my mother. She bought it in the 50s and uh, it's really uh, an antique rug. It's so beautiful. It's really dear to me. And at the other side I have a little reading nook for myself. The chair is from Ikea. And the plant, even the plant I thrifted some time ago. So the good thing is that in a corner like this, it's a bit dark corner, uh, if you decorate it with light uh, accessories. Um, and also a mirror makes it more light and brighter. So that is an easy way to decorate uh, some darker knocks in your house. It's also darker because at both sides of this uh, part of the room uh, are windows which go to the south. So there comes a lot of light through, but not in this corner. 
I like all the different shades of white um, on these items. They really go so well together. Thank you so much for watching till the end. That is so great. If you like this video, please give it a like and let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions, if you have any remarks or tips how it could be done better. That's a great way in this community how we can learn from each other and uh, empower each other to do more DIYs and craft projects. Have a nice time. Bye bye.